Should still be good, hopefully. Um, shouldn't be uh, too, too bad. So, how are we doing today? The volume level seem okay? Sweet. Yeah, Peter Parker in real life, doubtful. Nah. <laughs> Except for maybe the except for maybe the glasses, man. Hey, what's up, John? What's up, uh, Sanus? What's up, Chris? Thanks for uh, tuning in, guys. Um, so I was able to get the uh, uh, Mubot giveaway stuff working in the pre-stream check. So let me show you. I'm gonna give away three items today. Let me show you guys what I've got to give away. Um, let's just switch over to this. Uh, we don't need the camera right now. We can delete that. But uh, what I'm going to give away is I'm going to be giving away three of these uh, Funko Pop Marvel The Amazing Spider-Man 2 uh, figurines. So um, I know that we've been kind of missing some giveaways and stuff during the past two weeks because of the, uh, the tool that I used was kind of knocked out. But this week I'm going to be giving away three of these figurines for the movie and for the game. So definitely make sure that if you don't already follow us on Twitch that you start following us on Twitch. And uh, you could be a lucky winner. So, anyways, I don't have a Spidey hoodie today, guys. I do not have a Spidey hoodie. Um, we'll see. Next time that we stream something, I might uh, try and get another hoodie. The Captain America one was pretty was pretty cool. I definitely had a fun time wearing it. So, uh, definitely stay tuned. Um, anyways. Real quick, some uh, upfront information about The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It launches next Thursday, April 17th, and it's going to be premium like we talked about. It's going to be $4.99, and uh, yeah, let's get into it. I have uh, played, I basically played a little bit earlier to get a little familiar with it and everything, um, but I've reset my progress, so we're going to be starting from the beginning, kind of going through the, the first, you know, 45 minutes to an hour of this game and everything. So we'll see. Uh, I haven't gotten to experience all of the different events and everything yet. Um, I've gotten to experience a little bit of the city. And we'll just kind of wait for this to play through. Oh look, a party for me to crash. I hope they don't have an armed maniac only policy. Hey, what's up MC5 feed? Thanks for tuning in, man. All right, so um, a lot of you guys are familiar with The Amazing Spider-Man 1. Um, we uh, have added and improved upon with, oops, I'm going the wrong way, with Amazing Spider-Man 2. I'm really excited for it. This, again, is not the, uh, won't be the live build. This is just the uh, just most recent build that the dev team gave to me so you know just keep that in mind if anything oops i forgot to tap really fast during that if anything happens you know out of the ordinary obviously we'll be ironing those kinks out between today and uh anything else but i've been pretty happy with this build it's been really stable it's it looks good in my opinion the city looks way more detailed um everything like that um yeah but again like i said some of those things uh will be ironed out beforehand so I definitely think ooh, knock them out um, I talked about a, I, I think in the uh, original blog post that I did I talked a little bit about how we've added some combos to the combat system uh, I feel like it's a little more fluid from the first one I think that um, you know any veterans from uh, the Amazing Spider-Man 1 will come in and feel like it's just a really, really fluid experience, which is awesome. And just the environment in general. Since we're so excited about. A lot more detailed in the city. And like I said, it's one and a half times bigger than the first Manhattan, and there's a lot of iconic neighborhoods. I've got the list, and I'll check. Um, I know, like, the Financial District's one, Central Park's one of the areas. So, like, if you've been to New York City, you should be able to swing through the game and, and be like, oh, hey, I kind of recognize that area. So it's pretty sweet. The team's done a great job with it. Um, as you can see, like, just the detail swinging through. I like, what's up, Miron? Miron. Sweet. So, I actually asked about controllers. Um, 
I'll, I'm going to be doing a blog post on Monday with the VODs, and I should have an answer. Oops, I'm going the wrong way. Sorry, guys. Uh, I should have an answer about controller support on Monday. So definitely keep an eye out on the Gameloft blog for information about that. I knew I was going to get asked that after watching the uh, Brazilian stream. I saw some people, uh, the Gameloft Brazil stream. Some people asked about that, so I was like, oh, let me double check real quick. Um, so I should have that answer for you guys on Monday. Tap to attack. Boom. And so you guys might notice that uh, there are some like air vehicles and stuff like that. It's not just uh, it's not just cars in the city anymore. There's you know different types of vehicles and everything, which is pretty sweet. Yeah, I'll talk. I'll be able to go over. Um, I've got a list of the costumes and stuff that are that are available for people to get. So we can definitely talk about those after I get through this initial stuff. Hey, Blade Sword. Uh, whoops, I was reading chat. Um, the Amazing Spider-Man 2 is going to come out next Thursday, and it's going to be $4.99 US dollars. Let me try. Oh, the sad face over there. Womp womp. Yeah, and if you guys missed any, oops, I couldn't see over there. If you guys missed any of the action, uh, feel free to check out our uh, YouTube channel. I'm gonna upload these tonight, after or before I go. Sorry, guys, I don't mean to keep failing this. Um, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna upload the uh, I'm gonna upload the vods tonight, so that you can check out the whole experience. So I'm pretty excited for it. Should be good. There we go. I swear I can do it. He is playing as Peter. Spoiler alert, indeed. Hey, what's up, uh, Fahey? How you doing? All right. Something tells me this isn't fruit punch. Uh, the supported devices are going to be. It's not free. Let me double check. The recommended devices are do 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 do. iPhone. 5S, iPad 4, and iPad Air. That's what I've got from the dev team, and with the suggestion of it works best on iPhone 5S. Oh, nice, dude. Well, thanks for hanging out. Appreciate it. Yeah, I'm gonna Minecraft. So I'm gonna put this on YouTube uh, later today before I leave for the weekend. Prologue complete. Oh yeah, complete the tutorial. So now we just kind of go through the beginning stuff where we talk about all of what's going on. Blue dots are chapter mysteries. Red dots are trouble spots. Um, one of the features that's pretty cool is you can increase Spider-Man's fame and stuff by going to the red dots, which I kind of like. Uh, earlier today when I was playing, like some girl just asked me for an autograph, and I got bonus points for completing that, which is really cool. Right, let's see what's going on here. Uh, here we go. Time to fight some people. Oh, real quick, actually, before I start this, one other feature that I really, really liked is you can customize the layout. So um, as you guys can see on the screen, actually, um, I've got all of my uh, buttons on the right-hand side. You can move them over to the left or back over to the right if you want, and they kind of move around. So we'll just adjust. Oops. We'll adjust them back. And I like that because I know that um, one of the, like, f one of people's favorite features for, like, Asphalt 8 or whatever is that um, they can move the steering wheel and stuff like that. So, yeah, it's pretty sweet. Uh, this is going to cost $4.99. Back. Uh, it could be Twitch. I know Twitch has been kind of laggy for people because of all of the PAX stuff that's going on. But it's not really that slow for me. Hey, officer. Looks 
like something shocking is happening in this general area. Uh, no, this does not have Twitch integration, Frosco. Sorry. It's just so rare that I get to use my electricity-based material. Just yeah, to I think if you've got an I, uh, iOS 7, you should be good. But uh, like I said, the dev team told me that it works best on the iPhone 5S. Uh, I, I don't think right now we don't have plans to put Twitch integration in this game that I'm aware of. But, you know, kind of like as with every game that we make, with how well Twitch integration is doing with Asphalt 8, we'll kind of evaluate things on a case-by-case -case basis. Uh, what's with, Ryan, what's with the iPad 2 Mini? I'm not sure what's with the iPad Mini 2. Um, oh, I completely missed that dialog box. Like I said, um... That was just like the suggested stuff from the dev team for which devices work best. And let's go do one of the red spots to check it out and see um, like kind of what's going on with that. Yeah, and uh, one other feature that the, dev, that the production team was really happy about is just uh, the higher quality of voice acting. This is like my favorite part of the game. No, no damage. Um, the higher quality voice acting in the game. I think it definitely shows. There's, uh, I've recently played The Amazing Spider-Man 1, and there's definitely an improvement. Oh no, pickpocket. Yeah, I'm going to be doing giveaways today. Uh, I'm giving away three Funko Spider-Man 2 uh, figurines. I'll show them to you guys later. I'll probably do the first one in, I don't know, like uh, 10 minutes or so, maybe 15 minutes. Find the suspect. All right, let's see. Oh no, it's timed. Oh, we're getting there. I wonder why she called in the pickpocket a bajillion miles away. Seems like lazy police work. Oh, sweet. Okay. Run down the wall. Oh no, my finger went off. If I could run down a wall like this, man, my commute would be incredibly short. But I feel, oh, hey, what's up, bro? Get wrecked. I would never have to deal with San Francisco traffic ever again. I'd just be running over walls all day, dude. All right, so I really need, uh, as you do more combos and stuff, you, uh, sweet, caught the suspect, way to go. Uh, you get more, you fill up your combo meter, which is pretty sweet. Uh, I don't believe it does. I'll have to 100% conf uh, confirm. I don't think I saw that. Do, 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 do. Um... But I'll need to double check that. Like I said, I'll have, uh, there's some good questions that people are asking and I'll have that for the blog post on Monday. So I'll double check and see, but I am not 100% sure. Oh no, actually I do have that information. Yep, this game is connect needs to be connected online. So that's a good question. Um, thank you for asking. Oh, hey, what's up bro? Oh, whoops, I totally got smacked there. But yeah, so this will require a connection, just for clarification. I didn't think I had it, but I did have that information, so thank you for asking. Oh, whoops. Yeah, this is the new Amazing Spider-Man 2. Where's the other dude at? Oh, there he is. Okay, this guy's gonna come and get me here. Oh, man, whoops. Um, so there's also one uh, cool social feature that's been added is going to be this thing called the Mysterio's Arena. And what you'll be able to do is you'll be able to fight like uh, waves of enemies and stuff like that. Of like thugs and monsters. 
and villains and uh, there's going to be a, a leaderboard actually and you'll be able to unlock different rewards um, not just limited like to currency or anything like that um, but like all sorts of different things when you as you climb the leaderboards so that's pretty sweet i'm pretty excited to see how that does um, there's also like a friend system in the game where you can send gifts to people who also play the game so that's pretty sweet Uh, yeah, that's correct, uh, Great Shark. It does require a connection. It's just a decision that we made internally. Um, that's really all I have for you guys right now. Yeah, I understand. I think it's a. I think it's just an issue that the you know it that developers are trying to deal with as a whole and hopefully we can continue to make the situation better. But I understand completely where you guys are coming from. Pew. No problem. Come one, come all. For one day only we've got the sale to end all sales. Uh yep. I don't know the Euro conversion actually. I should know the Euro conversion, but I don't. Yep, order in chaos online uh sh is on Windows phone. Sure that I got plenty of it does not have a day and night cycle, uh, Dribble Jam. You'll be swinging around the city in always daytime, so you don't ever have to worry about hitting buildings. Those pesky skyscrapers, they pop up in the dark. All right, sweet. Oops. Uh, let's see. Oh, we can talk about the various suits here. So as you guys can see, uh, there's different suits you can pick up. So it's pretty cool. An armor suit, uh, let's see, we can go through all of them. Iron Spider-Man suit. An armored suit designed by Tony Stark, better known as Iron Man, increases the damage and frequency of range attacks. The superior Spider-Man suit, designed by Doc Ock after he implemented his mind in Spidey's body, recovers HP based on the max combo amount in a battle. Symbio Spider-Man, this suit is actually a living being that gives Spidey special powers, triggers double melee damage when HP is below 40%. Hey, what's up, uh, Gumball? How you doing? And then the last one, Ultimate Comic Spider-Man Suit. The costume worn by Miles Morales, the Spider-Man of the Ultimate Universe. Attacks have an increased chance of dazing an enemy. So yeah, uh, all of this stuff is just like some extra cosmetics that if you guys want to change, you totally can. Yeah, and right now I don't um, have any MC5 information right now. Sorry, guys. Um, this is not, uh, as far as I know, this stuff's not finalized, guys. This is still a build, so it's, it's different uh, things can, like, the different costs of everything can change. So just keep that in mind. Hey, what's up, Haroon? How you doing? My favorite game ever, like... So I'm kind of biased towards uh, Asphalt 8, because that was the first game that um, I was involved with when joining Gameloft. So I really, really like Asphalt 8. So, oh, I got to catch that car, actually. But, um, yeah, so that's probably my favorite one. Let's see, did this guy stop? Oh, no. He went down this way. This costume later. Being a hero is dirty business. I'm not really good at catching moving targets, I'll say that. Where are these guys going? Oop. Can I just run after him? I wonder if I can, I wonder Spider-Man's fast enough to catch a car. Moment of truth here. This is not coming out on uh, the PS1. This is going to be a mobile title only. All right, we're going to let that guy go. Let's go back and see what other... Who else can I fight? Oh, I guess I had to follow him. Whoops. That was my mistake. Oh, no, never mind. I didn't have to follow him. We're good. That was one of the side missions. So there's, like I said, there's a... It's like 95, 97 events. Let me double check and see. Do, 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 do. Um, 
We've got, uh, I know that we've got 42 cutscenes, which is a big improvement or a big addition from the last game, which is pretty sweet. Uh, and it's just about 100 story events. And then you also have 17 other random events that you, as you swing around Manhattan, you'll be able to get at, you can like gain access to them or kind of like stumble upon them, which is pretty sweet. And so this would actually be, I believe, the Central Park area, which is really cool. Sticks the landing on nothing, dude. I'm a boss. I think I'd be a really good Spider-Man. Honest to God, I think I would. I, I can fall with with significant grace. All right, let's see what this red dot's all about. You're all. Oh yeah, this is the girl that uh, I was talking. I think this is the girl that I was talking about earlier. She just wanted like my autograph. Heck yeah. You can definitely have my autograph. Hey, Spidey. Uh, sure, why not? I can take a 30 second break from crime fighting. <laughs> I'm a flailer. That's awesome. <laughs> oh, man. Come on, oh no, I actually have to fight people? I just want to give this girl my autograph and get extra points. Oh, pow, 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 pow. Oh, I get it. You're not trying. Oh, man, I really thought I actually dodged that one. Crush. There we go, sweet. Okay, I think that guy's knocked out. Oh, this guy's still up though. There we go, sweet. Oh, I'm definitely gonna go see The Amazing Spider-Man 2. Um, Doom 7, this is The Amazing Spider-Man 2. It's a game that I work for Gameloft and we're producing it for the movie. This is going to be coming out next Thursday, April 17th, and it's going to cost $4.99. Yay, what's up, friend? Sweet. Um, so, yeah, like I said, you'll be able to see, uh, since we just passed through Central Park, you'll be able to catch, like, a couple other um, pretty iconic Manhattan neighborhoods, like, you'll, uh, or just areas. I know the financial district's in here as well. Um... Yeah, it's definitely possible for those things to be added later on. Um, again, I think the dev team will look and consider, you know, every option for what they can add in terms of, like, uh, content and, you know, performance improvement. Oop. All right, let's go check out this person. Oh, dang, he's all the way up top. Help me. I'm coming, friend. Uh, this is not a beta. This is um, just the latest build that we've that I received from the dev team. Oops, what am I doing? Um, so, this is not going to be the live version, but um, it's you know pretty close. You get the idea. Just to give a really cool demo um, for everybody. I did stream last week. Actually, I streamed our strategy games, Total Conquest, and World at Arms. Um, so I've got a suggested device from the dev team, and it works best on iPhone 5S and uh, other devices like iPad Air and everything like that. So, uh, Drake, uh, someone asked about controller support earlier, and that's one of the questions that I've got to talk with the dev team about. I'm going to be putting up a blog post on Monday with the YouTube VODs of this stream, and I'll have answers um, for you about that then. Yeah, I think the reflections look great, uh, Great Shark. I think you're right. By the way, cool username. The amount of villains, I have that. Do, 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 do. Uh, so... I've got a total of six bosses and 18... So 17 types of enemies from the ground, and you can get... A, there's some flying enemies. Um, like I said earlier, uh, almost 100 story events and 17 random events. I don't have the full list of villains. The, if you guys want to see sneak peeks of villains and stuff like that, actually go to the Amazing Spider-Man 2 Mobile Games Facebook page, and I know that they're doing different sneak peeks and exclusive reveals on there. So you'll, you'll be able to see more of the villains from them. Take the mobster to the hospital. No problem. I really slow. Take the mob. Um, which way do I need to go? The other way. 
Shoot. I've never seen anything like it. He was blue. He could control lightning. Oh, sounds like Electro. I ran fast, but he still tagged me. He got all my comrades. This dude is definitely dying More pretty quick. Than anyone I've ever seen. Sweet. Yeah. Go, friend, go. Get to the hospital. Awesome. Uh, honestly, my favorite feature is the, uh, this is going to sound really silly, but my favorite feature is the customized, customizable HUD. That's huge to me. I think, uh, not every, especially with mobile, not everybody's hands are the same size. Not everybody has long or uh, big, like, long fingers. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so the fact that you can move the controls to what's best for you, uh, put them on the left-hand side, the right-hand side, uh, adjust all the buttons, makes a huge difference to me. I think that is one of the small details that shows our dev team kind of paid attention to what people like. Um, I also like the fact that this is a premium game. Um, I, think, I think that's awesome in itself, and I know a lot of people are excited for it because of the fact that it's premium. Um, and I definitely... I'm excited to see how it does, because the Amazing Spider-Man 1 was pretty solid, and um, we've really taken the feedback and kind of grown with the Amazing Spider-Man 2. Yeah, next Thursday, that is right, Solid Ninja. So actually, we're doing pretty good. We've got about a uh, flow between like 80 and 100 people hopping in, so I appreciate you guys. Uh, stopping by. If you guys miss any of the action, I'm going to be uploading all of this footage to YouTube later today before I leave for the weekend. So make sure you check that out. I'll have a blog post on Monday kind of highlighting all of the various details that I've talked about on the stream today. Um, wow. this thing has seen better and then days. trying to my best to answer any of the questions that I didn't have answers for, like the controller and everything like that. Yeah, no worries, Drake. Uh, like I said, I just I don't have uh, the answer for that right now, but I'm putting up a blog post on Monday, and I'll make sure that I find out if this game will have any controller support up front at launch. Hey, freak! Oh, hey, quick question. Any of you guys? What do I look like, an electrician? What do I look like? Take this clown out. Electrician. <laughs> Alright, and so this is going to be my first chance at uh, checking out the uh, skill upgrade stuff, which is pretty sweet. Tap here to select the skill. Oh, that's cool. I like that it gives you the little video of what's going on over there. Tap upgrade. No problem. Alright. Hey, see you later, Bones. Thanks for stopping by, dude. Appreciate it. Uh, Nightwing, some of that, uh, any more superhero games this year? That's a, uh, a level 8 classified, a game loft level 8 classified right now. Hey, see you later, uh, Krupit, thanks for stopping by. So, I can't really say, but, uh, you should definitely stay tuned. If superhero stuff's your, your jam, stay tuned. Uh, that dude, that's a great question. I'm hoping to get some Spidey swag. I'm hoping to go see the movie, um... Actually, we'll probably like take the team to go see it just because it's pretty cool. That's the perks of working on a game that's tied to a movie. Usually, you get to go check it out. Uh, Counter attacks deal. I actually think I want to do counter attacks because counter attacks. I do a fair amount of those. I don't, hey Nathan, I don't know the price of the game in Brazil off the top of my head. I just know that it's uh, $4.99 US dollars. So um, hopefully, if you're familiar with the, ex the various exchanges and stuff, you can check that out. Oh, well, I guess since this is free, might as well. Yeah, just about a hundred main story missions with 17 uh, kind of like random missions that are put throughout the city that you can stumble upon, which is really cool. I think uh, players will be able to get a lot of playtime out of this. Actually, let's take, after this, uh, after this, let's take a minute and do um, a giveaway for one of the uh, Funko statues. That would be awesome. Nice counter.
Get wrecked. So, yeah, this is going to have a multiplayer system in the sense that we are going to have social leaderboard leaderboards. It's going to be called Mysterio's Arena. And what uh, Mysterio's Arena is, is you fight endless waves of, like, mobsters and, and enemies like this. And you see how high you place on the, the leaderboards, whether it's, you know, like a daily event or a weekly event. And you're going to be able to unlock different rewards. So, like, uh, currency, some other in-game things, you know, any consumables, power.